The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Best synths, virtual instruments, whatever you call them, you clicked on the right video. I'm going to be going through the tools that I use the most, talk a little bit about when I use them, as well as the good, bad, and wonderful of each VST. Starting out with the one that I use the most and would recommend you do as well, Serum by Extra Records. I consider it the glorious child of Massive and Silent. For the most part, it can do everything they can do, but Serum does it in a much more elegant user interface. There are so many video lessons. I did one video about Serum on my channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. Now let's jump into what's good about Serum, and that is the presets. You can scroll through this really well-organized bank of presets that Serum comes with uh, by category, or you can go through, I use the Seven Skies presets all the time. These are some future bass sounds. Uh, just above it was some 808 sounds. For whatever kind of sound you're looking for, and switching through them is as easy as just hitting the left right button or if you want to jump down the category you can go back in the list let's say we want to go straight down to the chord leads and the downside of this synth is that it's really not beginner friendly obviously it's just a bunch of knobs and shapes to people who are new to music production. So this is definitely something for the more intermediate users to pick up with. I guarantee you will not regret getting yourself a copy of Serum. Moving on to a completely different tool, something that I would use in the exact opposite way, Omnisphere by Spectrasonics. The amazing part about this plugin, the bank that it comes with is endless and I mean endless probably more sounds that I could ever scroll through in my time here on earth the downside is there's not really much you can do to the sounds other than the short list of controls that you get here for each one of them what I do really like is they give you this lock control here and I use this all the time if I'm looking for a sound that I know I want a clean sound. Most of these presets are going to be lathered up in reverb and delay and a bunch of other special stuff to make them sound fancy, but it'll just keep this blank rack in here and you could just hear what the original sound was before they added all the effects to it. Are you a music producer that loves making blazing hip-hop bangers? Do you want your trap beats to sound extra crispy? Then get ready to shake the block. Introducing Urban Beats, the all-new sample pack featuring exclusive trap loops, over 300 urban drum samples, and the most disrespectful 808s your neighbors have ever heard. Urban Beats is available now only at Holoops.com. Moving on to something quite similar, but much less money, good old-fashioned Nexus. I have a love-hate relationship with Nexus. The amazing part about Nexus is it gives you a lot of the controls that Omnisphere has, and then some. One of my favorite effects is this spread knob here that will uh, pan every other note left and right as you hit it. I use that all the time on ARPs or kind of background things sort of like a ping pong delay effect but without the actual delay these presets do load up way faster than the ones in Omnisphere this is not going to be as space consuming as Omnisphere for sure because that is like over 200 gigabytes of stuff on there and some little trick in Nexus that took me the longest time to realize you could do is if you right click on these categories you can actually do a search you can go in here and type in like if you're looking for some sort of a flute It'll go through all my preset banks, pull up just the flute sounds. Let's try this one. 
Uh, same as Omnisphere, they always turn the reverb and delay on for almost every preset. I kind of can't stand that, but at least the reverb and delay in this plugin also sounds really good. And the final plugin that I want to talk about as far as virtual instrument goes is Contact. The beautiful part of Contact is that it is a free sample player and it is open to the world of sample pack designers to put together libraries and you can find some really obscure stuff and some really good common stuff but for, however for the basics synth type stuff I would always say just use serum for that because the only thing I really find myself using contact for is if I want to put a trumpet in a song or a guitar in a song or a string instrument in a song that sounds realistic and this definitely out of all the synths will have the most realistic bass guitars you know you name you name any actual instrument and contact will probably come the closest out of any of the other synths on this list uh the bad part about it the part that i absolutely can't stand is it is so slow to use and it is just so painfully slow sometimes like if i'm trying to load up a preset from uh from this Scarby Rickenbacker bass. It's just, you gotta look at the rainbow thing, and then you gotta wait through a couple of, of progress bars, and it absolutely disrupts the musical flow. Oh, let's see, it's not even done yet. We're not even gonna wait for this to finish. You missed your chance, contact. But that concludes my most used virtual instruments I hope this helped you find a little bit of clarity in the difference between them. If there's any software you'd like me to make a video on, leave it in the comment below. I'll make a video about it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for enabling notifications to my uploads. I'll be seeing you soon with another tutorial. Peace out.